New developments from our investigative team tonight about a Florida veteran still fighting for American citizenship decades after serving honorably in the U.S. military. And tonight he's been hit with another setback. Katie Legrand first brought you Paul Canton's story last month. And tonight she brings us new developments from his ongoing federal court case. Do you feel like this is a major blow to your case? I do. I'm disheartened that the law of the country I served is not taking into account my military service or extenuating circumstances. Recent court rulings in Paul Canton's fight for U.S. citizenship are leaving this former U.S. Marine on the losing side of his battle. Canton, who says he was recruited into the U.S. military under false promises of citizenship three decades ago, has been fighting for his right to stay for the past five years when he discovered he wasn't here legally. I gave the government a blank check for my body up until and including death and with the agreement I'd get citizenship when I got out. After his citizenship application was denied twice, he took his case to federal court last year. But last month, a federal judge tossed two of the three charges Canton brought against the government. The judge essentially ruling the courts have no jurisdiction over who Citizenship and Immigration Services approves and who it denies. We weren't asking for anything but what we've already earned. At issue, when Canton, who was born in New Zealand and raised in Australia, enlisted into the U.S. Marines versus when he actually served. According to federal immigration law, foreigners who honorably served during a period of hostility are eligible to apply for citizenship when they get out. While Canton enlisted during the Persian Gulf War in the early 1990s, he wasn't called for active duty until just after that period of hostility ended. We shouldn't even be having this conversation where we are cutting hairs to see when this Marine served. The point is he served, he served honorably. Elizabeth Ricci is an immigration attorney working Canton's case pro bono. She's making this third and final argument in court, hoping it sticks. You seem genuinely surprised by this story. Yes, I am surprised. Meantime, Canton's story has gotten the attention of Florida U.S. Congresswoman Kathy Castor. For Mr. Canton to serve in the Marine Corps for eight years and to be left high and dry by the United States of America that he was brave enough to defend, he, he should be uh, treated with like royalty in this country. These are some of the awards that I was given while I was in the military. Canton, who's considered stateless after losing his Australian citizenship when he joined the U.S. military, recently started writing letters to the White House. What do you hope the president can do for you? Executive order to grant me citizenship so I can move beyond this. If this doesn't get resolved, Paul, what happens to you? I've got no country. Where are they going to send me? I don't really understand why this big fight, this big push to deny me what I've already earned. Katie Legrone, WPTV News Channel 5.